why don't you want to have any more kids? How did you know that you were done at three kids? I, yeah, I actually think I would have more kids. I don't have the capacity. I would definitely be open to having four. I think I could always do three. I could do five. Okay, let's not get carried. Yeah. This is going to be our last baby. And here's why. All right, let's try to do it one more time together. This is the baby. That's why. Do you want this last baby to be a boy or a girl? I would love for Jay Lee to have a sister. I have four older sisters, so. I really don't want another girl. Have you found it more challenging to bond with one over the, over the other? How has it been trying to travel and see family with the kids? So I think as they're young, we are traveling with a lot of items. It can be a lot, but as they get older, it'll just get more expensive because we'll be paying for like tickets for every single kid. I've always thought of myself in the future with our kids, being super active with them, available, playing sports, being in the best shape of my life. And I want to be just physically there for my kids. Um, I didn't know that it was gonna be a challenge for me to be mentally uh, or emotionally there. And so for me, I knew we were done or I'm good with just having three because I realized how much of an emotional toll or a mental toll it's taken on me for the two kids that we have. I don't have as much patience maybe as I thought. So like what challenges dealing with these two kids? Yeah. Get you to like, I can actually do three. Oh, uh, like me wondering if I could do three? I think I could always do three. I could do five. Okay, let's not get carried. No, I actually think like, I thrive as a mother. I am well as heck, but I do think that, man, taking these kids, I take them out for the day. I've, there's had, there's been days where I've taken them to like the store and to Costco, got all the groceries, and then I'm taking them to like a doctor's appointment. Two, two babies in this stroller by myself. So if I could do two, I, I think I could do three or four easily. And as they get older, it's gonna be even more, like Dakota is a, is a great helper. And he's two and a half. So I don't think three will be a challenge. I think it'll be a challenge for Avery and I. We never argued as much as we have until we had kids. And so like kids are challenging when it comes to like our marriage and putting our marriage first as a woman who is breastfeeding and pregnant. And that that is a challenge. There's probably going to be even more things that get on my nerves um, between like the, the little, not even they're not arguments. I was going to say the little arguments, but they don't have arguments. It's just going to be like just taking stuff and not being able to communicate and this and that. That's going to be super annoying and not really feeling like we get a break. What are some of the things that you really, you really want to cherish during this pregnancy? Yeah, um, I'm not sure. So because I'm so busy with the other kids, I feel like I've just kind of, I don't even feel like I'm pregnant. I'm not even showing, I don't really gain weight. Now I'm starting to feel like, hey, peekaboo. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel the baby move, so I feel like I'm starting to feel pregnant, but I don't know that answer. Part of me wants to get like a journal and kind of journal. Um, not just to the baby, but to all the kids throughout this process. Do you ever think we'll get a nanny? A, a nanny? What? What is your, give me more context. On what you like an eight to five help. Nah, it just like thinking about it, it just sounds silly. Like by the time we get the nanny, the kids should be more independent. What I need a nanny for? If we go on any trips alone, I guess we get it's why one of our parents. They gonna do something by themselves. <laughs> what? If they're independent at the house, they also can be independent 
doing something else. So we go on a trip. Where would they go if we went on a trip? They, they wouldn't go nowhere. They'd be right here. Who would watch them? Them. They, when they're eight years old? Uh, we did it. No, we cannot leave our kids for more than tw- more than eight hours when they're eight years old. My mama did. Yeah, well, we don't live in Georgetown, Kentucky, Avery. Does it make a difference where you live? Yeah. They cannot be alone. Oh, my gosh. You're insane. That's not insane. Yeah, that was my next question. I was going to say, like, you feel like you could, thri- you could thrive with five kids, but do you feel like you're thriving as a wife? Yeah, I think at five kids, as a wife, I would not be thriving. Um, oh. Especially with the age gaps that we currently have. Um, I, I think that even now, I've told Avery this, there's areas that I feel like I am definitely, you know, I, I can't be a better at. Um, I need to speak to Avery and I got married and got pregnant a month later. So our marriage has been focused around kids. Um, and we haven't had a babysitter until Dakota's turn too. So that is also, you know, very, very difficult. Um, we don't live around family. We don't have access to our family like that. Our family would be more than willing to help, but they're thousands and thousands of miles away. So we are very grateful for our family, but we chose to live here. So. I, I think with five, we would be too much. With four, it would be a, a, I think with three, it might be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but it, four would be too much of a challenge. Uh-oh. Okay, cut the camera. You're controlling the camera. Okay, Dad. Sorry. Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? Do you have anything more to tell people? Do you have any more to ask? No. I think I asked a lot of good questions. Mm-hmm.